Okay, this is a tutorial on Chapter 7, which is the volume of prisms. And here are the shapes that are in Chapter 7 that you have to find the volume for. And I'm going to show you how to solve each of these um, for the volume. So let's get started with the first shape. Okay, the first figure is a rectangular prism. And remember that prism means um, it is a three-dimensional figure that has two parallel sides of a shape that's parallel with another side that's, let me say that again. Okay. A prism is a three-dimensional figure that has two parallel sides of any given shape. So for this, it's a rectangular prism because um, the side that is the base, which is on the bottom of this, is a rectangle, and it goes all the way up to the top, which is still a rectangle. So they are parallel with each other and they're side by side um, on a rectangular prism. There's actually more than just one base, but for this um, purpose, we're just gonna use the base that has eight by six. So for the formula, you're gonna use um, base times width times height is the volume formula for a rectangular prism. So the base is eight, the width is six, and the height is five. When you multiply all those together, you're going to get the volume. So you have 48 times 5, which is 240. And you're going to look at the unit, which is inches. And because volume is a three dimension, for three-dimensional figures, you're going to have it with a, an exponent of 3. So how you say that is 240 cubic inches. And that is the answer for this rectangular prism. Let's go on to the next shape. Okay, this is a triangular prism, and the formula for that is one-half base times height, or to make it a little bit easier, instead of using the fraction, you can just do base times height divided by two, and then multiply all of that by the height of the, of the prism. Let me rewrite that a little bit so it's a little bit neater. By the height of the prism. So the reason why we do base time, times height divided by two is because the base of this uh, prism is a triangle because the triangle goes all the way over to the other side of the triangle that's on that side. So there's two parallel triangles standing up next to each other. Um, so we're going to plug those in and we have the base and the height. So the base of that triangle is five. The height of that triangle is eight. And we're gonna divide that by two. And then we're gonna multiply all of that by the height of the prism, which is how the distance that one tri uh, triangle travels to the other, and that is 3. So we have 5 times 8, and I'm going to move over to the left here, which is 40, divided by 2 is 20, and then multiply all that by the 3, which is the height, and you get 60. And looking up at the unit, that's meters, and it is cubed, so it's 60 cubic meters is the answer. Let's go on to the next shape. Okay, this is a cylinder, and to find the volume of a cylinder, you're gonna use this formula, which is pi r squared h, and so pi stands for 3.14. The radius is halfway across the circle on the top, and that is seven, so you're going to square that, and then the height of the cylinder, which is nine, and then Next line we're going to go down to is 7 times 7 to the square root, or not the square root, to the square, which is 49. And then we're going to bring down all the other numbers that we haven't used yet. And we're going to multiply those all three together. So 3.14 times 49 times 9 is 1,384.74. And it is centimeters cubed because it is a cylinder, which is a three-dimensional figure. And that is how you find the volume of the cylinder. Let's go on to the next sheet. Okay, so this is a pyramid. And it's actually a rectangular pyramid, or um, sometimes there's a square pyramid, but this is a rectangular pyramid because the base is a rectangle. So we are going to find the area of the base, which that is um, capital B. You have to find the area of whatever the base is. And then we are going to multiply it by the height of the pyramid and then divide it by three because three pyramids fit into a rectangular prism 
with the same size base. So the area of the base is 9 times 5. The height of the pyramid is the one that has the 90 degree angle right here, which is 9. And then we're going to divide that all by 3. So 9 times 5 is 45. And then multiply that by 9, which gives you 405. And we're going to divide that all by 3. And therefore, the volume of this pyramid is 135. And it's meters cubed, so cubic meters. And that is how you find the volume of a pyramid. Let's go on to the next shape. Okay, this is a composite figure, and composite means there are two prisms or two three-dimensional figures that are put together, and you have to find the volume of the entire unit. So we're going to first start out with the cylinder, and we know that that formula is pi r squared h. So we have 3.14 times the radius, which is 4 squared, um, because the formula is r squared, and then times the height of that cylinder, which is 8. And we're going to drop down 16, which is 4 squared, and then drop down the 8, because we haven't used it yet, and pi, which we haven't used yet. And then we're going to multiply all three together. So you have 3.14 times 16 times 8, and that is 401.92. And then we have the rectangular prism, which again is base times width times height. So that is 14 times 8 times 12. And 14 times 8 times 12 is 1,344. And because it has a composite shape, it's actually going to be adding these two together. So you're adding the two answers of the volume together. And when you do that, you have 1,745.92. 1,745.92, and it is feet and 3,4 volume, which is cubic. So 1,745.92 cubic feet. That is the answer for the volume of this composite figure. So whatever the composite figure is, you just do the same formula to find each one, and then you add them together. Let's go on to the last shape. Okay, this is also a composite figure because um, there's a cylinder that is taken out of this triangular prism. So we're first going to find, um, you can find either one first, but I like to do the big um, figure first and then the smaller one, and it just makes it easier to subtract in the end. So it is a triangular prism, which means we are going to do um, base times height of the triangle divided by 2, and then multiply that all by the height of the prism. So we have base times height, which is 6 times 5, divide that by 2, and then multiply it by the height of the prism, which is 4. And 4 is the height of the prism, like I said before, because it's traveling from this side of the triangle to the other side of the triangle on the other side, and that is the height. So we are going to do all the math for this, which is 30 divided by 2, 15, and then 15 times 4 is 60. So 60 is the volume of this triangular prism, and it's cubic feet. And then we're going to find the volume of the cylinder, and that is pi r squared h. So that's 3.14 times the radius, and the radius of this one, they didn't give us the radius, is actually is the diameter of 2. So to find the radius, you're just going to divide that diameter by 2. And 2 divided by 2 is 1, and we're going to square that. And then the height of that cylinder, which is the same height of the triangular prism, because this circle is traveling the same distance to the other circle as the triangle was traveling to the other triangle. So that is 4 again. So 1 squared is just 1, so we can do a straight multiplication all the way through. So 3.14 times 1 times 4 is 12.56. So you're going to take 60, and you're going to subtract 12.56, and that will give you the volume of this composite figure. And you come up with 
0.44 and it's cubic feet, so feet cubed, and that is the answer for this figure. So I do want to tell you um, that you can stop and rewind it anytime you want to, kitten, um, to make sure that you under fully understand how to do the volume of um, any figure, whether it be a cylinder, triangular prism, or um, composite figure or pyramid, you should be able to find um, the volume for any of that using this um, tutorial. So stop, replay, um, pause anytime you want to, and you'll be able to do very well on the test. Good luck, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.